Hello everybody, it's me, Liam. We're playing Link's Awakening again. We had a good uh, first session. What was it, probably half a week ago? Maybe it was Sunday. Yeah, so half a week ago. So far, the game has been beautiful, fun, a little challenging in hard mode. Hero mode, or whatever you want to call it. And altogether goofy. It's a goofy game. I say that all Zelda games are kind of at heart a little silly. I think they're basically silly games. But I think this is definitely a goofier. Goofy. A goofier Zelda game of the series. 980. Not me, it. Sure, let's get it. La. Nice. I think we're uh, three away from. Oh, no, we're only two. We're building our band. We've got a cello, we've got a conch horn. I'm guessing that's. Is that a French horn? It's kind of, kind of curly. Stampe. What's up, my dude? Let's go to my shack. I should find out what it does. It's true. It'd be smart of me to do. Ah! I killed them all. Killed them all dead. Where does Dampy live? Dampy. Uh, I thought that we visited his place before. Maybe I don't remember where it is. Getting bombs would be cool. All right, Bow Wow. Maybe I should read that sign. Maybe the sign has clues. Does sign have clue? See the strangest dungeon of all? I feel like I've got to make the dungeon. Is that a thing? I feel like that's something they added in this game. We're gonna do some lawn care though. <laughs> I'm playing in hero mode, so there's no uh, heart drops. Something to get used to. Sort of interesting for Zelda game to not have hearts in it. All right, let's see what's going on in this villa. Cool frogs. No. no. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to leave. Bow wow. Didn't know we could. I thought we were kind of stuck with them. Candlelit castle. Ten minutes. It's 10 minutes, name of the place. There's a heart piece in there, though. You, 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 prairie? Can I swim? No. Link cannot swim. You got moves. Not anymore. I wonder if, when, if Bow Wow eats something. If they uh, drop anything. Okay, well. I think I probably need arrows to shoot those dudes. 
I'm never gonna get the arrows if I get killed like this. <clears throat> All right, now well, Bao killed that guy and he dropped something, so let's boost the audio in the game here a little bit. We're at the point now where the game will refuse to allow me to advance. If Bow Wow's with me. Hmm. A monkey. Kiki the monkey. happening all right it confuses me greatly <clears throat> we're not gonna worry about that it's a Zora okay we've got the castle this seashell hut? Seashell mansion, sorry. I call it a hut. Presumably this is where we make use of our seashells. Okay, okay. The ultimate sword. Sounds like you should come back with lots of seashells and standing on the platform. No response. It's a cool green screen seashell goo though. Every penny counts. So many signs in this world. The animal village. Martha's Bay. What's Martha doing in that bay? Does the right stick not do anything in this game? Nor the D-pad. I guess I can go get that hard piece in the woods now, based on uh, my newfound lifting abilities. Did I, oh, I guess I took damage when I lifted that up. Do I have to murder everybody, or am I just doing it for fun at this point? They do have a throwing range. Some downstairs. I wonder if he'll always say the same thing. Yeah, okay. I guess that's it. I guess that's what we're doing. It's funny that they included this guy, because there's like otherwise not really much of a way of figuring out what the hell it is you're supposed to be doing. Huh. Cool, I can teleport now. That's that's neat. That'll speed things up. I'm dead again, aren't I? I'm glad nobody's counting. Seeing this screen a lot. Or if you can change the difficulty. Not really being able to heal is definitely a thing. Not even taking the damage so much. I guess one of the benefits of Bow Wow hanging out with you is that he tells you where to dig, right? I don't think he's done that for a while. I mean, in monsters is pretty neat too. Hey there, Cambersion, how's it going? 
We are playing some Link's Awakening. How are you today? I hope you're well. Look at Lindy. You're going. You're going okay. I'm trying to think of where we left off when we were last chatting. A friend was coming to stay with you, right? As I recall. I don't know how out of date that is, though. How was work today? How was that treating you? That cart life. If I recall correctly. I wonder if I can jump attack these flying dinguses. Oh, that's great. That's always nice when people come to visit. Feels good. Feels good to have your friends close. If I recall, he was coming from pretty far away too, right? I don't remember the details that specifically. But anyways, that's good. I'm glad. Say hi to your palo for me. The writing's on the other side. Cheeky game. What a cheeky game. Uh, I'm getting blown up by bombs. I'm playing uh, Link's Awakening on the, like, the hero difficulty, where you never find hearts in the environment. Oh, it was a short one? Well, that's good. Sometimes you need a short one, right? Sometimes you can't go the full mile. Oh no, I found a hole to die in. I started a lawn mowing service. Do you need a... Uh, any hedges trimmed, or do you need to have your edges edges uh, edges redone? I know I know a young man who's looking for for odd jobs, making a little extra cash on the side. You have a big backyard. Well, that's nice. Maybe I'll, it'll, it's big enough to tuck her link out a bit. He's a very uh, rambunctious young man. He's got this murder dog, though. Bow Wow, the Chain Chomp. Have you played uh, Link's Awakening before? Either the remake that I'm making my way through here now, or the original? Well, I don't know that I've stepped on this one. Did I? Maybe I did. Dampy was there before, right? Yeah, okay. Sim. Sim. Huh. What a funny guy. Paid a little bit of remake, yes? Cool. What'd you think? Alrighty. So that one. This guy right in front of us needs to go to the left. My guess is that if I stand on one of these crackety tiles in order to push the rock, uh, I'll die. But I don't think we need to do that. So I think we can go here. The first puzzle? What was the first puzzle? You say with uh, quotation marks. Indicating that it, you may not have found it to be a, a real puzzle. You got the stuff. Thing collector man. Piece of heart. Alright, we found a way to... Uh... Oh, yeah. There is a sign that tells you, but it's um, it's not near uh, it's not near where the urchins are. It took me a bit too. 
it took me a bit too. This game is just kind of like that. It doesn't follow a lot of uh, principles that we would probably think of today as being like fair. If that makes sense. It's just like, yeah, whatever. There's a guy you just call up on the phone who tells you what you have to do next in the game. It's weird, right? <laughs> it's not, uh. It doesn't hold your hand, right? James is like, alright, here you go. Oh, okay. You're just, yeah, you weren't feeling that. With big money or a big smoochum from Madam Meow Meow. <laughs> Splashing. Yeah, the game is just kind of, it's older, right? It has a lot, it's, it still has all the sensibilities of a Game Boy game, right? It's not really afraid to not make a ton of sense at times. It's also not a long game, right? So, you know, if you end up getting confused, have to dicker around for a bit and do 15 minutes of the fishing game before you sc finish scratching your head and decide to try it again. It's kind of not the end of the world compared to like when you get lost in a 100 hour RPG and you have no way of knowing if, when, or ever you will find your way back. Not that I'm saying it's like a good experience, but I think you definitely do need to bring like a, a slightly more old school game mentality to playing it. Because like, yeah, it's like uh, not afraid to like not really make a ton of sense. A mystery. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't disagree with you at all. Think I can survive that? Oh, the water looked purple, though, so I thought it was poison. All oh, right, the devils. I find it so funny that, like, their punishment is to upgrade your abilities. Glad this game had a better backup. Yeah. Or I think, like, a password system or something. Can you imagine? What fun that would have been. The password systems are always just so bad. Especially because, like, inevitably you, you take the password down wrong. Right? Like, that's just how it goes. Or there's like two characters that like look the same. I don't think I can jump that. I think this is like hookshotty type material. If there is, I forget if there's a hookshot in this game. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a hot minute since I played it. Right, back in the day. I recall there being a Game Boy game. It was impossible to beat on a single battery charge. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> Crazy Tracy. That's pejorative. I wonder if she calls herself that. She's like, hi, I'm Crazy Tracy. <laughs> you can call me Crazy Tracy, cause I'm out of my mind. Mm -mm. 
Oh, she lives with mice. That's kind of nuts. She's gonna get toxic plasmosis or whatever. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. For your rubies? Sure. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's like a fairy, I guess. Come visit Crazy Tracy before you go fight uh, the big old bad dudes. I've already gone here. Oh, the, the witch. Witch. Good job. Use on your enemies, you see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toes I'll make more. Oh no, I don't have to pay for it. Why well, pay for the for the witch milk when you can uh, get the witch for free, as they say, right? Smashing everybody's stuff. And even if you plugged it in, apparently people reported the system will break before completion. Don't look like creepy pasta. That's funny. Break him up way. Oh, okay, for sure. The world's my oyster. Now that I'm able to uh, lift up Crocs with my power bracelet. What a powerful bracelet. See ya, loser. Come back here. I want to murder you. Oh, uh, interesting. Interesting. It does sound weird. It does sound weird. It's hard to say. I feel like with Nintendo games, like, literally anything is possible. You never know what they're up to. What kind of crazy things they'll do next. The weird things that get through quality assurance. I really, 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 really like the soundtrack for uh, for the remake. It, it's very, very good. Great instrumentation. Great recording. Okay, we're starting to learn a little more. So we kind of got distracted from our uh, the quest we were on, which was uh, go find that heart piece in the woods. So we're gonna go back to that. Magic grave. Burning the zombies to death. Jimmy Parrish did a Game Boy Works video on it. It's really good at making you decent roll your trios. Cool. So it came from a reputable source. Somebody you know what isn't just having you on. Burning them to death. Yay! Acid burns. Yeah, there's some people doing some fun, fun work these days on the, on the YouTubes and doing some independent research and stuff. Coming up with that inside scoop. You just you suddenly discovered that the cookie was gone. One day you woke up and noticed there was no more cookie left. <laughs> it was empty. You just got so involved. You just got so enraptured with the cookie. 
Cookies are, are definitely one of those things that like, I want them to last longer than they do for sure. But then if you just like eat more cookies, it doesn't play out well, right? There's a natural limit to the number of, of cookies one person should eat in a single sitting. And it is a number that is uh, much lower than the number of cookies you can eat in a single sitting. <laughs> Remember this game, the uh, walk around the entire world and dig under every single tile, just in case. So you can you can catch Mew. Mew is in the, in these forests. No. Oh, here you go. I got it. Where will Mew show up next? Is really what I want to know. Very weird like likes. Eating your items. What kind of cookie was it? Important questions. I need answers. What kind of cookie was it? Your answer will determine the future of many things. Nice. Yeah, we're getting up there with the money. What do you got to say? Sugar cookie from Wendy's. Usually they're a decent size. This one was a little, uh, a little underwhelming. Oh wow, did that just like home in on me? I kind of feel like the spear went around the corner. Maybe I just saw things. Oh no, like, the whole s sucked me in. The second one was my fault for not paying attention. But, um, Maybe it's just the way that the spear was dropping as it was thrown. That to me it appeared as though, uh... It was curving around the outside. Okay, well... We get the hard piece we were looking for. So that's good. Right, yeah. You just go into autopilot. Just eat mode. To the southeast. Where's Richard? Pothole field. Oh yeah, so it is. All right, let's go back to the village. <laughs> the uh the hunger vanishing powers of sugar cookies I made some cookies yesterday they were uh oatmeal coconut chocolate chip cookies they were good quite filling lots of lots of high <clears throat> high proportion of oats in them, which is, which is something I like. I like that in a cookie. Be a little substantial. You know what I mean? Sugar is good. You know, I like sugar. I'm not. I'm not going to uh, start picking fights with sugar. But uh, for me, you know, I like. I like the contrast. I like it when the chocolate is, is sweet and the uh, the oats are earthy. I like the, I like those contrasts. Yeah, it was good. They turned out well. 
I think if I make them again, I'll, I'll adjust the recipe a little bit. First time I made the recipe, and you know, like with all things, it's nice to tailor them to your own tastes just a little bit. But yeah, they worked out well. I was glad. Oh, it's already beeping even though I only have two hearts. Very good, Bow Wow. It's nice to see you again, too. Clearly not a dog. The one of the things I find strange are the frame rate drips, dips. I have a hard time imagining this game really pushing the uh, the boundaries of graphics processing in 2019. I know that like the Switch isn't a, like a powerhouse when it comes to crunching crunching frames. But surely they, yeah, surely they knew. They're also pretty like common and pretty substantial too. It's just like, you know, like right there, it just grinds just a tiny little bit. I don't know. For a game like this, like a 2D, like a 2D game, I prefer it play smooth over look good. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you agree. Okay. Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee my villa. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf. I left behind in the castle and I fled. Alright! Smashing! To tell you the truth, there were five leaves and I want them all. Alright, I got a shovel. I'm not afraid. I just decided to wait at home. People have been testing why that is. Overclocking the parts that could receive overclocks didn't do anything. It might be baked in. You know, it might be something deeper than just like crunching frames, doing math. It may be capped at certain points for some for some reason. Yo. These frogs are weird. Memory bandwidth late issue. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know too much about like the hardware architecture of uh, anything in the world, really. Let's be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I put a lot of memory in my computer. And Premiere Pro works better now. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Yeah, it's possible. But you would think that then, if you were running in like digital mode, that would be non-existent, right? You wouldn't have that issue. I can I can tell you for sure that. Games that are on the SD card run faster than, uh... How am I gonna get in there? Than games on cartridge. how I took on the horde of Bokoblins myself. Yeah, I like I am useless, right? I don't know what the... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Hungry Kiki the monkey. What kind of things do monkey like? Oh, I can probably go get bananas now that I can do the stuff. Digital Foundry. I've heard that name before, but uh, to be honest, I don't know who it is. They got videos on it? Yeah, I'd be interested in looking at that. 
seen under the hood a little bit what's going on. I know people who've de developed games for the Switch, but I don't, uh, I don't really know what, what it's got going on under there. Like what the Switch's hardware is equivalent to. Yeah, I don't mind that. I would almost prefer it be tech heavy, right? Even if I don't fully understand everything that's being said, I would rather be like told the real answer and have to piece it together on my own than to be told like, you know, basically the computer is like a brain and the memory is like your memory. That kind of thing gets me because like I know enough about what I know about to know that that's not the truth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, Wikipedia seems accurate until you go read an article on a topic you have some expertise in, and then you realize that that's all of Wikipedia. That revolting feeling when you read an article on some topic you're an expert on, and you just go, oh, this is so inaccurate. That's all of Wikipedia. All right, let's go get Nanners. Nanner, Nanner, Nanner. Can I have both at the same time? Looks like the answer is maybe. Yeah, totally. I would rather have to catch up to the, to the teacher than be talked down to. It's not even about, like, being... It's condescending or whatever, right? It's not an ego thing. It's really just a matter of, like... I would rather know the real answer. And I would rather be confused and have to figure out the truth rather than be, uh... No, just some, like, half answer... Because it's easier to complain, com complain, easier to explain to the dummies. No, no, I'm with you too. The um, I'm I don't really listen to very many podcasts, but the stuff that I do like to listen to is all like industry based. If that makes sense. They're podcasts that are for people in their industry. They're not intended for like general consumption obviously it's a podcast so you're welcome to listen if you so choose but um as a result they're just talking about their line of work and the realities of their business from the perspective of uh somebody in it, right? So how do I get those nanners? Is what I want. Because I'm fairly sure. I can't just like mid-air slash the monkey into 16 pieces. Yeah, well I think a lot of content, especially online content, is designed to meet a broad of audience as possibly can for like maximum meme worthiness trying to go uh, viral as they say okay well how do I get the bananas though how do I get into the castle if I don't have bananas for the monkey how do I get the bananas, though? Alright, well, let's go talk to the telephone guy. It's been so long since I played this, I do not remember the solution. Bum, bum. Yeah, totally. I feel like I feel like these days, ten like uh, 
tempers are pretty hot. Especially in like an online discourse. Maybe it's just the nature of talking to people online. But yeah. It feels like people are very willing to get on each other's nerves and pick fights over stuff that you can't reasonably expect somebody on the internet to uh, understand the tone of, because it's like mitigated through text and whatnot. People getting mad at each other over stuff that I think probably wouldn't happen if they were talking in person. I don't know. I feel like most people that when you sit them down across the table from you, even if you have disagreements, there's like a certain commonality between human beings that makes it hard for you to be like actively cruel to any of them. Unless you're really just a monster. How do I get them? I was hungry, some fear, so I went and got bananas at the beach. How do I get the bananas, though? Like, people believe lots of different things, but... I don't think you shouldn't have to agree with someone in order to get along with them. Chances are you will not, right? <laughs> um... I guess I just want that Yoshi doll. Gimme Yoshi doll. What does Yoshi doll do? I don't know, but I just need it. You son of a... Anyway, so I feel like a lot of like online conversations kind of miss that stuff where the thing where if you were sitting next to the person and they realized that they had said something hurtful, they would probably change their tone. What on God's green earth is that? What is this nonsense? This game is rigged. I need that Yoshi doll. Didn't go down far enough last time. Oh, baby. Give it to me. Give me the Yoshi doll. Let's try to make our money back by just grabbing money. This is probably not going to work, eh? Crane's going to grab it. This is going to fall over the place. Okay, well, there's 50 rupees right there. <laughs> sure, yeah. Absolutely. Especially because, like, whether Sonic Adventure is better than Mario 64, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, right? There's no prize. It won't change the outcomes of anyone's lives. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it really is just super doesn't matter. So what if you're wrong about it, right? Come on. Come to daddy. Just enough to knock it over and make it harder to get next time. I think I already have a shield, so... I don't know why I would even need that shield. So let's just try to move this to where I think the crane should be. Like, now, right? Oh, okay. So, talk. Uh, 
Okay, so my guess, my timing guess was right. We'll give it one more try. See if we can't clean the place out. It's just a guess. It's pretty good, actually. Not quite good enough. Oh, you didn't realize it was on Twitter? Yeah. Like every other uh, person who makes poor life choices. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. I don't really say that much. I don't try to weigh into stuff. You know what I mean? I don't get into the, I don't get into the issues with people. Magic powder. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> you can't get how many games you've seen now. That's funny and true. So yeah, a lot of times it's just like, whoa, you want a Oshi doll? Sweet, let's go find your Rammy. The one up north, two doors. Oh, I remember where it is. Um, yeah, I usually, like, I mean, on Twitter, I'm the same as I am in, on Twitch, right? It's just, just this. <laughs> just me talking about the games I like, getting excited about music, trying to convince people to care about Oct Rock. <laughs> it's the same as always, right? Dream Shrine? Let's have some dreams! I love dreaming! I feel like making a bad decision. Yeah. I get that. Okay. Can I jump over him? Hey, it's the, uh, it's a, it's a flout. Well, I died. Some dream that was. It was more like a nightmare. Yeah, do you ever, have you ever weighed in on, on a hot topic? And immediately you felt, this was a really great use of my time that I'm not going to ever regret. That guy just decked me. That guy, like, took a hundred hit points off me. Were you ever like, now the world is better and I'm happier? Can I jump two of them at once? That's a curiosity I have. Yes. You get body pretty bad there. Yeah. It like it never works out. People aren't listening, right? They're never gonna can't convince anybody of anything. It's just people are up divided and they're they're bivouacked. There's your word of the day. They're people are just bivouacked in their in their own camps. Taking turns yelling at each other. I mean, you can connect with cool people on the internet. It's not impossible, but I, I think in those kinds of like open forums, it's not really, it's not really a place for dialogue, if that makes sense. I don't think so anyways. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just blind. But I feel like most of the dialogues that you have with people that either change your point of view or Don't do it angry often enough to get an angry mob. Well, that's something. These guys are jerks. These guys are really mean to me. I, and I'm not trying to adopt like the the internet is bad. Everyone on the internet is bad. It's a waste of your time. Kind of perspective, but rather just to say like, in the same way. 
the places where you met your best friends and the, the places where you got to know your family really well and the places where you know you really learned from a teacher or grew in that kind of way probably didn't come from a situation where 6,000 anonymous strangers could yell at each other. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. It's usually those things happen in smaller moments. Closer moments. Moments that are a little more private. Where people are able to connect to each other a little more directly. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Which I don't think is a very profound thing to say either. It's just the way it goes. Shy guy. I can't be that shy. Spiny. It says boo. Does it say Yoshel? Pokey? Oh, well, you met Yoshi doll to my baby? Oh, thank you. You're indeed a generous person. A bow tie. A ribbon. And the, the, the trade quest goes on and on forever. All right, well, we've got to figure out how to get those those heckin' bananas. Oh, not a problem. Have a good one, Camper. Thanks for coming by. Until next time. Bow Wow just... Just tried to deck me. How do I find that darn banana? Does the monkey want a bow tie? Where are the nanners? I demand nanners. See ya. Are those shells? Do they not count? I see banana. How do I get banana? Found a Rupal. I don't know. I can do this, something. Maybe this banana's in the treasure chest. We'll take it. I'm not sad about that. We can jump onto the log now. Or can I? That was weird. I was able to jump over the log. But I can't seem to do it again. Hmm. Revisit that. Bum, 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 
Martha's Bay. What's up, Martha? Martha, are you a plant? You can trust me. I won't report you as a plant to anybody. I won't let them know. Okay, you can't fall through. And that's what happens. So I got a um uh a little young dun da 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 dee Okay. Oops. Well, I guess I did put that there for a reason. Alright, I have no idea how to get this banana from this dumb monkey. Dinglebert was like, go down to the beaches and get some bananas, but I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's up. So I think we just need to explore a bit. Unless I can just like buy them. Being an artist is not a strange hobby. Very good, Link. Okay, well. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go on a hike. See what the world holds for us. Hello, Bow Wow. So helpful on the phone, though. Bombing? I don't have bombs. Where do I get bombs? Urea? What the hell is that? <laughs> Good old trendy game. I don't know how that's gonna work. We'll see what we can uh, pull off here. No, like, but not looking good. Look at it wiggle though, with that crazy smile. I think I did it again. This looks a little better, but not great. I think that's a no, Chief. Oh, well, you know, let's we'll see. It's a little roly-poly. I don't know what that is. We'll get the seashell, too. Because we need green seashell goo. <laughs> In order to get the Master Sword. I'm not clear on how that works. In this game. Curses. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work, Liam. It's pretty close, but probably not close enough. Oh, sugar. I'll probably make it next time easier, though, if I can get it.
That's looking good. That's looking good. Unless it just jitters its way out. <laughs> Curses. Why is there a crane game and a Zelda game? Jeeps. Okay, that's looking good. I guess it all just depends upon like the angle that it's in. The way that it'll bounce around. You are the worst. <laughs> Trendy gamester. I'm gonna set you on fire. See how trendy you are then. That's gotta be enough just to get it. I think the two inches it needs to go. You don't even wait for it to open up. Okay. Just a guess. Oh, that might be close. I don't think I'll actually get it though. It's probably gonna bounce around like crazy. Oh, maybe it gets caught in a weird shape. All right, well, we're committed now. In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. So much crane game. That looks pretty good. I don't know if that's going the full way, but. Well, we got it. What can we say? Oh, I'll give you a holler. What's this? You got a shield. Rub a name on it later. In case you lose it. Chow Chow figure. Where can I put it? Yeah, I already had a shield, so why did I? My name written on it, interesting. I've never noticed that before. Okay, well. Yeah. Who even knows? Okay, where do I get bombs though? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you just buy them. There's no bomb bag. There's no nothing. So I have 20 bombs now? Yes, I do. Let's just buy a bunch now. Get it over with. Please allow me to have these three human hearts. Thirty, it looks like, is my max. Based on the number turning yellow. So do I use bombs to knock bananas out of trees? Do I just go investigate that cave? That looks like I could bomb it. Do I just... Re-explore the entire world again with bombs and then start finding things to bomb All right, I gotta stop going that way A piece of go faster
see a crab. All right, let's do some demolition. Who said that? Some sort of water creature that I can't see. Okay. Weird. Don't know. Guess it doesn't need a bow tie. Well, I don't know. I don't know then. Beats the hell out of me. I mean, I didn't really think that bananas and, and explosives were the the mix I was looking for. But now I know for sure they're not. Alright, well. The mystery continues. Well, let's go head off into the world and see, uh, see what we can bomb. Oh, he got me. What's up, lady? What do I like to do? Adventure. I like to blow things up with explosives. I like to drink milk. I think I would like to swim, but I don't know how. I swear I meant to hit the Y button to jump. All right, well, let's see what this is about. Okay, so there seems to be some other means of taking stuff out of trees that I need to discover. Oh, it's a furry. I guess there was that bottle in the fishing game. I can go back for it now that I've got a little bit deeper pockets. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I was expecting the smaller thing to blow up, but fine. Either way. I know there's that monkey. I'm assuming the monkey's gonna let me into the castle or something, right? That's kind of what monkeys do in Zelda, is they let you into castles. Let's examine what he says a little bit more closely. Chiquita, Chiquita, Kiki the monkey, hungry Kiki the monkey. Don't know how to use this information. That guy got me good. See you, losers. Oh, good. I got a thing. Oh, there's a... Telma portal. 
Do I bomb it? Do I shovel it? There we go, I shovel it. No bombings, just shovelings. Well, that one is legitimately useful because this place is kind of a pain to get to. Good biff in the back of the head with a spear. I killed the Zora for no reason. Pretty bombable. I'm no I'm no demolition expert. But it looks pretty bombable. And it was. Interesting. Wonder if that'll change anything below. I guess I can just plain old jump over it now. Genius over here. Taken, killed by a green blob. What are those chews that they called? All right, I can't bomb that. It's good to know. Now I'm up here, above the prairie. Uh, memories? No. Pin. Oh, this is Al. Sub Al. Around here, secrets are nigh. There's no secrets here. Give me those secrets. I want secrets. I don't know where that factors into secret math. So we're just gonna dig up everything. To be thorough. Be exhaustive. Soup. All right. Well, I did it. Oh no, I missed a few tiles. Or did they just refresh? Yeah, I think they did. I don't know. We've done it now, Link. So how do we get down then? How do I get out of here? <laughs> Am I trapped? There's no way. I've got to, there has to be a way for me to get down here. What could it be though? Okay, let's think before we push blocks. You can't just jump down from here, can you? No, I don't think so. Let's get rid of all these dangerous, dangerous creatures. Hmm.
Does it only actually go one tile? Or is it just because the dude's in the way? I wish I could figure out how. I guess that's not going anywhere. I can't jump over them. Can't blow them up, that's my knowledge. All right, so the answer to that question. Neither of those will move. Can I like, yes I can. What does it do for me though? These guys only get pushed once. Yeah, I have no idea what to do here. This is peculiar. Am I trapped up here? I feel like I'm trapped up here. Is there something I'm missing? Yeah, I don't get this. <laughs> I don't get how this happened. So the only other block I can push, because these only go one space, is that one. So this goes there. And none of them can go back, right? Well, that's good. Very grateful for that. It feels like I'm stuck. Either that or like, there's something I'm just missing. Yep, there's something I was missing. That is okay. These things happen. Okay, I wasn't in there. Where can we go to next? Can we bomb the doors to the castle? My guess is no, but... I certainly haven't tried yet. Got me in the back like that. Come on, uh, flying Octorok. Don't do me that. Don't do me that way. Don't do me that way. All right. Well, those doors are stronger than my doors. That's it. Can I feed the monkey bombs? Invincible monkey. Well, the monkey's hungry. I'm assuming we can't just magic powder the monkey. <laughs> don't know if I can go to Telltale Heights yet. I don't think there's anything there that I can make use of. So far, everything just exits from Telltale Heights. Did I really go all the way over there? Yep. 
Okay. Bring, bring. It's Aria. Go scare the crow by the castle and see if that helps. There's a crow. This isn't like a Zelda thing where it's called a crow, but it's actually like a horrible reptile creature. What crow? You are dead, 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 you are dead. I think I don't have enough uh, seashell, seashell juice. But we'll go stand on the podium anyways. Oh. Surprises. Well, it'll make the beeping go away. So that's something. Bumba da dum Okay. I don't know where the crow is. Oh, we can't scare it. That's tough luck. Not interesting, I just don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, we're here, that's something. Kill you with my shovel. Nice seashell power. It just kind of looked like the place you might need to dig. I like the bonus flip, a little extra flip it gives you there. I haven't gone to the spookily woods since obtaining my explosive abilities. Well, there's a thing. I don't know if I can go there right away. Oh, I can't. Might as well. See what's in here. This thrilling adventure. Okay. If only I had some sort of tackling stick. Ow. Okay. Not yet. Not your time, says the game. It's not your time, Liam. So I'll leave my marker there. This is a reminder to come back at a later date. The bees were non-responsive to bombs. So we're gonna leave that be for now. All right. So we got the spookily graveyard. Which we can now uh, climb up some stairs to from. When we did that, did we have bombs? I don't know. Now we can use bombs. Interesting. 
So I guess that clears a pathway down there. Okay, so it is gone forever. Poor Link. Where does this connect to again? Right. <laughs> Just crush him. Just crush him. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. Get out of here. Killed by a bat. Okay. There's really not a lot of punishment for dying out in the open world. In the open world, the biggest difficulty is just dealing with the beeping. Because like, we're going to hit retry or replay or whatever it is. Retry. And we're going to basically be where, yeah, pretty much exactly where we were standing. Is this crow by the castle? I feel like it isn't. Bad birds, no. Spooky woods. Crush it with a rock. Yeah, I've been here before. Maybe it is time we go see Dampy. Damp, eh? <laughs> what do you got for me, my main man? Uh, hey there. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins in this island, I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there. It turns into a real dungeon. How, who knows? Cool. Cool. Hmm. Interesting, Damp, eh? Interesting. This just feels like new Nintendo content. Okay. Amiibo. I'm here for your amiibo, Tempe. I started this one already. Can you make it finish? Make a path to the entrance of Nightmare Lair. Okay. Right, threes, twos, and ones. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting.
Lots of treasure so far. Lots of treasure. So I can put a onesie in here. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This is not that complicated, it seems. I guess the temptation is always to make a, a big whopping huge dungeon. My guess is a lot of people probably do that. First things first, they just make a gigantic dungeon. Does this qualify as that? Have I made a gigantic dungeon? Right. So I want this. And then this can just eat it. How do I remove? see what this holds for us. Goal of adventure in this dungeon is to get the end and beat the nightmare. Interesting. Okay, well the thing is there. I guess as I said the the key is always in the last chest. And the rest is just prizes. Plus whatever miscellaneous you need to complete the dungeon. Bombs, eh? Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe I just misread a thing about bombs. What damn be said. We will move on. I guess you can't jump. Magic powder. Okay, we've got this key, so we can do that. I remember this room. Murder fires. That's right. We use a key to get a key. Link's really getting ahead in the world. Straight shooter, that Link. Before there was treasure chest. Okay, there's treasure chest here now. Remember this room as well. Alright, so this is interesting. You can make your own dungeons. It's fun. It's cute, right? Whatever. Don't worry about it too much. Zelda Maker. I'm sure a lot of people were tempted to call it something as such. I wonder if we'll see that. Ever. We'll see that kind of thing. Nintendo will expand the Mario Maker idea. I'm guessing no. Mario Maker is definitely a series now. Alright. But, uh... I guess I just doubt that, uh... They'll broaden the concept to include other games. Just feels like it would dilute the whole... Their whole situation, right? 
if every series has like mainline games plus maker games plus spin-offs or whatever it just feels like too much to me Ba -da -da -da. So many treasure chests in this dungeon. Nice. Big bag of money. Nice. Cute. Okay, so we're back at the beginning there. So then does this room drop a key? No, oh, my money. It's funny. I tried. So then this is gonna drop the the nightmare key, the boss key, the master key. I was using that hard. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, that's not so bad. Certainly easier than the first time I fought the boss. Low those many, many days ago. <laughs> Bambi. Cool. Cool. Oh, that's cute. Well, I'm good with this for now, but this is a nice idea I like. This adds definitely adds something to the game. And a little je sais pas, as they say. All right, everybody. This has been a lot of fun, but I think I'm ready to call it an evening. Thanks so much for joining me on my continued adventure of... Uh, Link's Awakening, and I think next time we'll try to figure out how to get bananas. I mean, here we are. Link's epic quest, and the thing that's holding us back is bananas. <laughs> Something to reflect on. Save again, because I went wandering and did another thing. Alrighty, see you guys.